five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. We're about to embark on a thrilling journey through the heart of Accra, Ghana's bustling capital. We've got 10 sparkling gems to unveil, each one more captivating than the last. Are you ready to explore the vibrant city of Accra? Buckle up. Kicking off at number 10, we have the infamous Osu Castle, a place with more history than a high school textbook. Picture this, grand fortifications, whispering tales of colonial times, and a legacy that stretches back centuries. It's like stepping into a time machine, minus the uncomfortable seating and questionable fashion choices. And the best part? No pop quizzes. So if you're a history buff, or just someone who fell asleep in history class, Osu Castle is the place to be. Moving on to number 9, we're diving headfirst into the hustle and bustle of Makola Market. Imagine a symphony of sounds, a kaleidoscope of colors and a whirlwind of activity. That's Makola for you. From vibrant textiles to fragrant spices, it's a sensory overload. You'll find vendors selling everything but the kitchen sink. And the charm? It's in the beautiful chaos. But don't forget, this isn't your average shopping trip. Haggling? It's not just encouraged, it's essential. Just remember, haggling is the name of the game here. Before we reveal the next jaw-dropping spot, a quick reminder. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and leave your thoughts in the comments below for the Travel Best Places channel. Now, back to our thrilling countdown. At number 8 and 7, we've got Independence Square and Kwame Nkrumah Mausoleum, respectively. Now don't let their historical significance fool you. These spots are far from dull. Independence Square, also known as Black Star Square, is the second largest city square in the world. It's like Accra's living room, but with a capacity of about 100,000 guests. Talk about a house party. Over at the Kwame Nkrumah Mausoleum, you'll find the final resting place of Ghana's first president and his wife. It's not just a place of remembrance, but a symbol of Ghana's fight for independence. A bit of a somber spot, but hey, who said history can't have a bit of a dramatic flair? The mausoleum is also surrounded by water, which symbolizes life's journey. It's like Accra's very own fountain of youth, minus the eternal youth part, of course. Who knew Accra could make history lessons this fun and exciting? Coming in at number 6, we have Labadi Beach, where the vibrant beach life is as lively as a salsa party. Picture this, a symphony of laughter and chatter, the rhythmic beat of drums, and the sizzling aroma of fresh kebabs. But beware, the seagulls here are notorious snack thieves, so hold on to your kebabs tight. Now at number 5, we have Jamestown Lighthouse, a beacon of colonial charm. This isn't your typical lighthouse, it's a storyteller, whispering tales of centuries past. And the view from the top? It's like watching a Accra through a magical kaleidoscope. But remember, the climb isn't for the faint-hearted. It's more like a stairway to heaven, only with slightly more steps. So, don't forget your sunscreen and your sense of adventure. Hold on tight, we're about to reveal Accra's top four places to visit. In fourth place is the vibrant art center, where creativity flows like the Volta River. It's a haven for art enthusiasts and a playground for bargain hunters. Next up, in third place, we have the serene Legon Botanical Gardens. Imagine an oasis in the heart of the city where you can zipline boat and bird watch. Sounds like a dream, right? In second place, the National Museum of Ghana steals the show. This cultural treasure trove will take you on a journey through Ghana's rich history, no time machine needed. And finally, drumroll please, in first place is Accra's crown jewel, the bustling Jamestown. From the iconic lighthouse to the buzzing boxing gyms, Jamestown is where tradition meets modernity. And there you have it, the top 10 places to visit in Accra. That's it folks, the journey through Accra's top 10 wonders comes to a close. We've navigated the energetic bustle of Makola Market, basked in the historic ambience of Osu Castle, and let the waves of Labadi Beach tickle our toes. And who can forget that spectacular view from Jamestown Lighthouse? I hope these gems sparked a wanderlust in your heart as they did mine. And remember, the world is a book, and those who do not travel read only one page. So, subscribe, like, and comment on the Travel Best Places channel to continue turning the pages.